Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So today's video is about masters of landscape design. I will be covering topics such as what are the career perspectives after doing your masters of architecture in landscape design? What is the growth rate in the market for this specific job title? What are the current scenario here in Canada or in United States for landscape designer? How much is the average salary and is it a good career option or not based on my perspective and based on the perspective of my colleagues that I had to refer because I am not into landscape design. I am into hardcore architecture and BIM and all of those things. So I had no clue about it, but I did refer or I did ask a lot of people who are into landscape design into my form and into some other forms as well. So this video will be a very helpful video if you are confused between choosing landscape design or something else for your masters. So this video will be a very helpful video for all of you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would request all of you to please like this video and subscribe to this channel because all I need is your support to keep making these kind of videos or else it gets very difficult for me to keep making these videos on my weekends. So guys, without any delays, let's get started with the video. Let's start with first point. What is landscape design? I know a lot of you are architects, a lot of you have a general understanding of landscape design, but I, just to sum it up, I will just give a brief description of landscape design. Landscape design is an art of designing outdoor scapes, which includes everything from your parks, your campuses, your road walkways, your uh, nature reserves. It can also be a private park or a private community center. Everything here, especially in Western countries, they do need landscape designers for designing the outdoor environment outside their main campuses. So this is the main purpose of a landscape designer. Landscape designers are designers which work between the building and the spaces, which connect a lot of building and their spaces, which make the spaces feel more uh, homely, more na natural, more friendly and inviting. So landscape design becomes a very important part in Western countries and in developed countries because they want to keep things organized, well maintained. So that is the basic uh, overview of landscape uh, designer's job. Now coming to the master's topic. So in master's, you will be learning a lot of topics and these are few of the subjects that you will be learning because I found these subjects to be repeated in master's courses all across the world. So the first topic that you will be learning in master's of landscape design is urban ecology. Second is environmental planning. Third is site engineering, then planting design, climate resilience, sustainable water management. Now let's talk about sustainable water management. Basically, whenever we are working on a project and landscape designers are working on that, especially in our company. So most of the time, uh, the landscape designers select plant species, select uh, how the planting will be done, how the water management system will work, how much water it will need to be maintained, like how much water the landscape landscape design would need. So they do all that calculation, they do the substrate, how the substrate will be formed, how much thickness of the top soil or the top layer of the soil when, in which the roots of the main plants or majority of plants will be going, how much will be the thickness of that. Uh, site engineering basically, they do decide how the site slope should be managed and based on the site slope or whatever slope is existing on the site, they dedicate that these kind of or these species of plants will uh, stay there without or with the least amount of maintenance needed. So these kind of things are something that landscape designer do decide. And also one of the things that uh, one of the landscape designers pointed out was they also select the species of plant. For example, a lot of emphasis is giving, given to include indigenous species of plants in landscape design because they need the least amount of maintenance. They survive through harsh winters of Canada or in US, whatever, wherever it is. So they are the plants that have 
adapted for, from millions of years into this specific kind of environment. So these are the topics that Masters of Landscape Design covers usually. So yeah, uh, if you are interested in all of these topics, all of these things that I explained, then yeah, landscape design is for you. Now coming to the job market. Uh, so based on uh, USA Labor Department statistics, the job market in US specifically for landscape designers, it's not a very huge market. Till 2023, there were around uh, 24,700 landscape designers in USA but it's it doesn't mean that only these many people are working into entire landscape industry there are a lot of companies that hire specifically uh, specific architects like architects with masters of landscape uh, degree into their companies and they put them in an architecture role but also use them as landscape designers so it doesn't mean that only 24000 jobs are available till now or like only 24,000 people are employed into landscape. It's not like that. It's just a uh, statistics that these many people have registered under this specific job category. So don't think that only these many jobs are available. And for the next 10 years from 2023 to 2033, US statistics says that only 1,200 jobs will be available in this specific market sector. But Again, I would like to say that a lot of companies do hire landscape designers separately into their team, but they hire them as architecture designers only, but they use them as landscape designers also whenever there is a need on the project. So you probably won't be working full time as landscape designer, but of course your skill set will be used into that company as a landscape designer. I hope you are understanding uh, what I'm trying to say here. But uh, so this is the current scenario in US. In Canada also, uh, the scenario is almost similar. But again, Canada has a smaller market for landscape design because only two major provinces like British Columbia and Ontario have highest demand of uh, landscape designers because all the other provinces are either too cold or too dry for having proper landscape industry to flourish over there and even in ontario like we have six months of very harsh winter so the demand for landscape designers or landscape designing goes down for half of the year so again there is another restriction that happens over here now coming to the salary what is the average salary that a landscape designer gets in US? So in US, uh, average salary of a landscape designer, a beginning, uh, for example, you have just gotten into industry and you just got your first job after masters, you might expect around 55 to 60,000 US dollars as a salary package. But once you have one or two years of experience, your salary might go to 70,000 US dollars. And this is the national average as well. So also consider that a lot of people would have a lot of more experience. That's why the national average comes to 70,000 US dollars. Don't think that you will complete your masters of Ar uh, landscape architecture and you will get uh, $70,000 salary. It won't happen like that. Similarly, in Canada, the starting range for landscape architects and after Masters of Architecture, the salary will start from $50,000 to $60,000. The national average again over here is around $70,000 Canadian dollars. So you can calculate like, okay, this is how uh, things are over here. Now coming to the job availability or like the cities that have the highest amount of demand for landscape designers. So first is Los Angeles. Uh, there is a good demand uh, for landscape designers, San Francisco, California, New York, all of these uh, states in USA have a lot of uh, demand for landscape designers. Also because of their rich communities and the uh, settlements and the expansions that are happening towards these specific cities, the landscape designing demand goes higher. And also the climate is more favorable in USA for landscaping because the demand can go through all the year. Only one or two months or three months of extreme winter is there, but 
all the other months in United States and specifically in these uh, areas that I mentioned, uh, it's all clear. So you have a greater chances of doing landscape and there is a more demand for landscape designers in USA compared to Canada. In Canada, I would say British Columbia is one of the best states or best provinces to go into because again their climate is more favorable for landscape designing they have winters but it's not as harsh as ontario in ontario we have strict six months of winters in which you can't do anything the ground is covered with snow for from from january up till april like four months are fully covered but in December, it starts piling up. So it's like that over here in Canada. So I would say if you want to uh, get into masters, go to US and go to these specific uh, areas that I mentioned, then you might have a better chance of getting a job into landscape designing. In Canada, again, if you are going to University of British Columbia, good enough. If you are studying in Columbia, that is like British Columbia, then it's also a good thing in Ontario, if you are here in Ottawa or in Toronto, you might have a little bit difficulty in finding jobs. But overall, I think you will still find job, but be careful. I am warning you, it, the industry here is very small for landscape designing. Um, next country that if you want to go to for landscape designing would be Australia because again Australia is expanding their climatic conditions are not as harsh as uh, North America like Canada and US so the expansion of the cities will also demand for landscape designers sustainability consultants and all of these things so if you are in uh, areas like Adelaide in um, Australia, I think so you will have a good perspective because those areas and these specific areas are expanding on a very rapid phase. So I would say that top three option for anyone who is looking for landscape designing courses or a master's in landscape designing and want to work in a country which is speaking English, I would say USA, Canada, Australia would be your top three option i wouldn't suggest uk because uk is going through an economic crisis and there are a lot of things that are happening with uk right now they are not showing it to the world but things are not very great for uk and european areas but i would say these top three should be your option uh, singapore is also a good option because again you might have seen how meticulously planned Singapore is and how much attention that they pay to landscape designing and sustainability overall but again the market is growing over there it's not on high demand again it's a very small country so there might be a lot of competition that already exists uh, into Singaporean market so pick your choices carefully because I'm also saying all this because uh, bigger countries and growing countries like which are already developed and they have still have perspective of growth will give you a better standing in landscape architecture because landscape is not the first thing that comes. Landscape comes after there is a growth perspective after the site planning or town planning is done, urban designing is done, urban, urban scaping is done, then comes the landscaping so the first it's not the first part but it is already an important part in development of any city or a state so i would say to conclude this video i would just like to say that landscape designing is a good perspective only for the people who like it because it might be a little bit tougher to get jobs into this specific industry uh, and also, if there are lesser job, higher competition, the growth rate also decreases. So think about all of these things. Landscape design is a good career option, but always remember there will be challenges because the industry is not very, very big. The job demand is not very, very high. It's average.
So if you like it, go ahead, uh, apply for Masters of Landscape and become a landscape designer. We do need people who are actually dedicated to the field of landscape designing and sustainability. So this is the video. If you like this video, if you like the points that I have highlighted over here, please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. All I need is your support to keep making these kind of videos. And if you have any kinds of suggestion or questions, please go ahead, mention it in the comment section. I will be very happy to answer them. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.